show you how to create a ribbon. Everybody has difficulties with this. So I'm going to show you slow, plain, easy, basic way just to start. So I'm going to double load my brush with two colors of paint. And what I'm using right now is just a yellow and a hot pink. And it's Americana paint. Doesn't matter what paint it is, just as long as you double load your brush. If you can think of the shape of a figure eight, so I'm going to draw them with a pencil. So if I come here and I come back up, that's exactly what we're going to be painting. So I'm going to put the light color to the inside, the dark color to the outside. I'm going to make sure that I have lots of paint on my brush. I am painting on paper so it might stick. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to place my brush around oh, 2 o'clock and I'm going to come up and around and notice my brush never turns. The dark pink stayed on the outside. I'm going to continue this stroke up here again, push it out, bring it back, and push it back in. That's the beginning of how to learn how to create a ribbon. To do the tendrils that fall off, I like to show you that if you stand on your chisel edge, come down, push over, lift up push down, lift up, push down, lift up. When you start doing this, you'll see that you have very, very rigid here and here. It's very straight, and very stiff. And as we know, ribbons don't do that. Once you have this down pat, it's not difficult to come back over here and in a very swooping motion you get that curve and the bend in the bits of your ribbon. Again, we're going to come out and in and out and in and out into the chisel edge. To finish, you want to do a stroke a comma, a comma or a C stroke and just come in here and put that in. As you advance to creating your ribbons, let me get another piece of paper. This was the curly Q, curly Q video that I just finished creating. You will be able to then just take your brush and just let it do all the work for you. But the trick is remembering to keep the dark color always on the outside. You don't want to create a ribbon that looks like this. I should be getting some extender and then it doesn't. If you look, this has more depth to it, and this one is very flat. Again, I'm going to show you how to do the trailing ribbon. You're just coming in here and chisel edge, push over, lift up. Chisel edge, push over, lift up. Chisel edge, push over, lift up. And chisel edge to a point. Now you're going to practice that until you can come along and just very quickly and smoothly. If you can accomplish creating this ribbon, that's going to help you when you're turning leaves up, when you're flipping a leaf, or if you want to flip anything. Thanks for watching. This is Sue Gate signing out.